if you attempted to tune in to TNT Sports yesterday in Chicago on the LAN, we were supposed to have the Camping World 300 about 30 minutes after the ending of the truck race, but weather forced postponement of the event. However, we did get qualifying in Friday afternoon. So this means Dylan Merway will start on the pole for the Camping World 300. Let's go ahead and take you trackside for the notes of the race. As TNT Sports brings you live to Chicago Land Speedway, Dylan Merway starts on the pole. Chase Briscoe gave up his qualifying position for some new tires. And Riley Hurst and then a change of rear gear. His car is off. Dylan Merway and <coughs> Jeffrey Earnhardt lead him down for green at Chicagoland on TNT. Dylan Merway took off like a rocket ship on that initial start. He just ran and hit as Ross Chastain pushes his way up to second. Dylan Merway has got himself some bonus points. Look at this. Jeffrey Earnhardt and Jeremy Clements in the top five. Got a wicked battle there for fourth. Definitely didn't want to peg that one. Can't really peg who's who there. Eight to go in stage one. Dylan Murray is basically checked out already. He's got himself a rocket ship in that 75 car today. And he was tuned for running later in the afternoon which similar to his cup car ran. Even though the cup series got virtually maybe an hour of practice. They did get a couple of sessions on Friday and an hour on Saturday before the truck race was supposed to be green to run. But due to the weather obviously creating a very unique schedule with a triple header weekend for all three series, compacted all in one day. Truck Series wrapped up a little while ago. Xfinity Series Camping World 300 currently underway. Dylan Merway has already ran away from Ross Chastain pretty much in the 10. In fact, later today at 3 o'clock Eastern, we tuned to NBC for the Discover Card Countdown to Green, and then at about 3.30 Eastern, a little after that, depending on how long this race goes, he will have the Camping World 400 from Chicago Land Speedway. In the Camping World race weekend. Halfway through stage one, Dylan Merway has not gotten off the brakes at all in this, this stage. He is all but gone as Brandon Jones has shuffled his way into third. With Mike Lynette and Anthony Alfredo rounding out the top five. And the caution has come out. Somewhere. Unclear what's going on there. So it's like Tommy Joe Martins went around in turn four, or in turns three and four. A single car spin for him. Tommy Joe Martins is one of the smaller teams in this series. Not really having the, the best of years out of that camp. 
spring of the first yellow early on here at Chicago Land. Hayes car is off. As we are back green here at Chicago Land. One lap left here in stage one, just like the start of yesterday's event. Start of the, the event here this morning. One lap left in the stage. Dylan Burley is all but checked out from the 10 of Ross Chastain. Turn four, Brandon Jones is taking second. Dylan Murway will win stage one. So, Brandon Jones, Ross Chastain, Michael Annette, Anthony Alfredo, Jeremy Clements, Austin Cindric, Noah Gregson, Brian C., and Harrison Burton will round out the top ten. Tommy Joe Martins, after that spin earlier, has elected to stay out. This is going to be a disaster. Green flag, back into the air. Ten more to go here in stage two. Terrible start. Tommy Joe Martin is currently holding up the 10 car of Ross Chastain. And there he goes. And wow, he saved it. But Annette does not. Oh, I like he does. So he can move Brandon Jones out to the point. Here at Chicago Land, battling with the 10 car of Ross Chastain. Chastain and Jones side by side for the lead. With Ryan Sieg, the Michigan winner, laying in third. Mike Lynette, winner at Pocono. Sorry, that's Anthony Alfredo in third. I'm sorry. Uh, we do like to note Noah Grayson did bring his Texas setup here. You can look for him to be strong today. This race. He's currently sitting there in seventh. Having himself a quiet afternoon. Early afternoon, I should say. Not that saved though by Anthony Alfred, by Tommy Joe Martins going in three. Wow, what a save by Alfredo, too. Two good saves. And there it is, front stretch, Clements. Austin is out again. Um, Dylan Murray has elected to hit. A flat spot of those tires when it got into him. Green flag. Chastain breaks him down. Ross Chastain, run, he's another one that's running all three series this year for three different teams. Running for Nice in the truck series. He's having, he's got three wins to his credit. Sorry, two wins if I recall correctly. Him and the Murway Motorsports team are the two best teams this season. In the truck series, and Michael Annette has taken the lead from Ross Chastain. Oh, almost a red here. 
between that was one heck of a one. That was almost a big wreck there. Between the Trump cards on Unicheck, Daniel Hemrick and pretty much everybody in that six card one. And Net has the lead. Brandon Jones continues to battle for second. And Balicki is around. He's going to. Oh, what a hit! Hard hit. Balicki and Warren Shepard. Wow. That was violence. Came up and then got clobbered by me, by Shepard. I hope both of them are all right, but that was a grinding crash to end stage two. Here. As we have begun the final stage here at Chicagoland, Michael Lynette leads him down, Jones to his outside. A little bit of a prolonged clean up for the Shepard accident for Shepard and, and Clements, those two. Bill Miller trying to go three wide on Finchman at 13. Going down low, he's coming back. Whoa, that was almost a big moment there for Noah Gregson. Oh, Algar, can he save it? He does. Great save by the seven. Here comes Dylan coming back, trying to make up all that ground he lost. Net and Jones side by side for the lead. First to sixth. Net and Alf Herbst and Alfredo make contact. So I got five cars in the blanket here up front. Possibly going to be six. With the net out front. Dylan charging it in. On C. We get fifth. McNabb down up to fourth. 25 to go. Dylan gets into the 98, there's contact, they saved it. Which means we could see green flag pit stops right ahead, depending on how this shakes out. Twenty four to go. Four cars. In a blanket, filling up all over the 98 of Briscoe. Now here comes Dylan, who's going to push Briscoe three wide for, for a second. Briscoe, the biggest loser. Here comes Brandon Jones. Oh, Jones into the wall. Now Dylan will set his sights on the one. Charged it in. Looks like he's going to have it here. Whoa. Almost got the one. What a great bat, great run so far about 75. Very furious rally by him. Here comes Dylan. He's Definitely taking advantage of that apron. I have a feeling that apron may come into play later as Dylan takes the lead on a net. Can he clear him? Neck and neck. Side by side for the lead. Look at this. Dylan 
both cross over and net down low. Now the heart of these two races is going to bring Chase Briscoe right back into the show. Now Dylan's got 10 laps of fuel. He's hoping to just make it, see how far he can go. He's going to have to stop at least one more time today, depending on if they get a caution or not. 20 to go. Now for the way these guys do battling each other, they'll catch lap traffic and then they'll catch at the 98 of Briscoe probably catch them. Double the point and net on the high side. Nineteen to go. Contact is made. Oh, there it is, both in the wall. Somehow they got out of it and saved it. There's quite a bit of damage to both those cars. Here comes Briscoe and Jones. He blocks one, can't block two. Caution. This just got interesting. Now, Blicky and Ray Black Jr. are staying out. So, so far, it looks like three cars. Blicky. Okay, two. Two cars are going to be staying out here. So, I mean, no, sorry, one. So, Josh Balicki is the one. Green flag. In this final stage. Oh, seed, what a save. That was definitely a big moment. It bottlenecked everybody, and Brandon Jones is going backwards. Oh, Chastain. Mm -hmm. Huge save by him. Big one. Oh, no. Five wide. Where have we seen that work? It does not. And that end of the wall. You knew that wasn't going to work with what Josh Blakey was trying to do. You knew that wasn't going to work. Get some laps led. So that means Ryan C could possibly capture his second career win if, depending on how this goes, and what a stack up there in the back. Mike Lynette, he had some major damage in that big cluster. I mean, they were five wide. I don't have run there, Benny. Nobody was going to come out of that one piece. And look at how badly it bottles up the field. Actually, got rid of car and hit road. I don't know what that was about. Here comes Dylan Norway. He's pushing the nine of Greg. So he's going to take it three wide, nearly four wide. Hurts gets out of it. Contact there. That is one heck of a knot back here behind Brian C. and Ross Chastain. Dylan dives it on the 10. Side by side for second. Three wide behind for fourth. Dylan takes advantage of the 10 to save it. They're three wide. Nearly four wide by the looks of it. Oh, Chastain into the wall. So that brings Chase Briscoe back into things. They're saying 
now with the schedule and the way this race has gone, obviously had that long cleanup with that Morgan Shepard crash that they're going to shoot for a 3.30 start as Herbst is around. And how he didn't get clobbered is beyond me. Because he was coming right into the path of his teammate. See the car that fell out of the race. Vinny Miller uh, reported engine issues on the 78 camp. So we got nine laps of racing to go. And Harrison Burton had his life flash before his eyes. And that incident. Green flag. Another big stack up at the back with Michael and that. Time less cars. We knew sooner or later that was going to get shuffled. Six to go. Clements, yeah, the blocking is going to get a lot more aggressive. Dives are going to get a lot more aggressive. Dylan went from fourth to first in one pass in one corner. That's Brandon Jones. He's got damage to his car. Coming back three wide, four wall. Look out. Briscoe to the wall. Caution. Again. Means we're going to have a dash to the finish if the way this is going. Five laps to go. As we were saying, with how long this race has gone, the, the green flag is supposed to be expected just before 4 o'clock Eastern, so 3 o'clock local today with the way this race has gone. We got two laps to settle it here in Chicago Land. Clements with a good jump. Mike Lynette has been black flagged by NASCAR for failing to reach minimum speed. But that doesn't matter. Jeremy Clements, Dylan Roy, white flag here at Chicagoland. Everyone on their feet. What does Brandon Jones do? They stay on the bottom. There's some heavy damage to that 19 car. Dylan in the three is going to dive. Clint shows up. Here comes Brandon Jones. Oh, there's contact. At the strike, a hard crash of the checkers. Brandon Jones wins at Chicago Land. Dylan Merway, Jeremy Clements, Chase Briscoe, Ryan C., Ross Chastain, Anthony Alfredo, Riley Herbst, Noah Gregson, and Harrison Burton will round out the top 10. Al Geyer with a good run this afternoon, quiet run today. Sindrick, another quiet run, kind of out of character for him. Even check with a good run. Jeffrey Earnhardt with a Decent run today, starting outside the pole. Daniel Hamrick with a nice top 15 run today. Yeah, they were five wide right here. This is definitely a moment of the race. So, and Net, this was a huge wreck. Net gets turned, got absolutely creamed by another guy. And then this was the Riley Herbst moment he comes up down and ooh, like it get hit by Burton. I thought it was just a 
big slide. Justin Haley struggled for him today. Joe Martins, two major dust ups for him, and look towards the bottom of the sheet, Mike Lynette, tough day for him, ended up part of that big five wide stack. Ends up 35th. I think we could put Brandon Jones as a solid contender heading into next Saturday at the Indianapolis Roval. He's a pretty solid championship contender as well. So, anyways, later today, please tune to NBC at 3 o'clock Eastern for the Camping World 400. Next week for the NASCAR Xfinity Series, we'll be out at the Brickyard, Indianapolis Motor Speedway at the Brickyard. But we're going to be making history that day, beginning at 2 p.m. Eastern, over on NBC. Congratulations to Brandon Jones, who is having a year nobody thought we would see out of him. So this means as of right now, regarding the playoff battle, if by any chance Mike Harmon can pull off a run and get into the top 30, um, he would be, that would move the cut line to Ross Chastain. Uh, as of right now, Chastain is solidly in, but between now and Richmond it is two months. There's a lot of stops that these guys are going to have to make. So. See you at 3 o'clock over on NBC for the running in the Camping World 400.